27th District Congressional seat, Charlie Jackson faced Ricardo De La Fuente for the nomination. He did, and as you know, Republican Michael Cloud currently has that title. He is the incumbent. Our Paulo Salazar joins us right now live from outside the Nueces County Courthouse with a reaction on one of the more surprising results that we were just talking about from the night. Yeah, I'm actually at the uh, Democratic headquarters for Nueces County, and I have one of the candidates for the 27th District Congressional race, Charlie Jackson. And I know the numbers didn't go our way so far. It, they haven't called it yet. No. Um, what do you think has led to the, to the numbers rolling in the way they have? Well, uh, so we've got about half, half of the precincts still uh, throughout the uh, 13 counties that have to report. So I think we're going to see um, see some changes over the night, but it's not looking very good for us right now. Um, I think it's more about uh, not being able to get our name out there and, and not being able to, to touch all the voters throughout the district, uh, which we need to do at, at both the, the primary level and at the general election level. In speaking about the general election, as voters head to the polls then, what do you think are the issues that they need to pay attention to as they roll into November? Well, first of all, they need to find out if they're going to be voting for a guy who lives in San Diego um, in the November election. Uh, but secondly, they're, you know, they need to look at the core Democratic values that are going to inspire them to turn out and vote for the Democrat in the race. All right. And in both this race or, or all the other races here in town. All right. And I know we're going to stay put to get those final numbers. I'm Paulo Salazar in the Democratic headquarters for Nueces County.